This year, Batman Day is on September 15th. Happy Batman Day! That's how you have to say it. But who is Batman? There's been a whole lot of Superman drama lately, with still no resolution, by the way. But let's not forget, and a lot of people didn't yesterday, right? That two-thirds of the DCEU trinity are reportedly in flux. And with Matt Reeves' The Batman looming, hopefully, uh, who is Batman is a question that Warner Brothers needs to answer. I was going to say they were going to answer it before who is Superman, but Danny Garcia needs to lock that down. Now that, like, I'd say at least 50% of the world thinks Henry Cavill was fired. All right, so anyway, now some of you might be saying, uh, Batman is Ben Affleck, Grace, right? But is he? Affleck was real excited about a Batman solo movie back before Batman v Superman hit theaters, but after, not so much. And with Reeves saying his Batman story will focus on the Caped Crusader's earlier years, that means Ben Affleck will either narrate flashbacks, as both John McClane and Indiana Jones are said to do with their next installments, or perhaps just show up on the red carpet to show his support of the movie, all good over here, guys, and collect a big fat producer's check. That sounds pretty good. Now, I used to think that Ben Affleck would and should fight for this role, but these days, it seems like he's fighting for much more important things in his life. I also recently heard rumblings that he never intended to be Batman for that long anyway. He wanted to be killed off, like Han Solo, right? Or as Daniel Craig is rumored to want for his bond. So take the check, Affleck, and take care of yourself. No hard feelings. Uh, now, the DCEU is having trouble attracting top talent these days. Uh, an early uh, frontrunner, Jake Gyllenhaal, would rather wear a fishbowl on his head than the cowl. Yeah, it's that bad. Uh, so in the wake of losing his rumored favorite, Reeves has apparently met with Oscar Isaac, while Warner Brothers is rumored to be interested in their HBO star, Kit Harington. I know about the recent um, naysaying about that. Don't worry, I'm going to address it. And meanwhile, John Hamm is still campaigning hard for the role, while also admitting that nobody has contacted him about it, right? I don't know why he would say that. He'd be like, no one's interested, but that's not going to stop me <laughs> until they recast someone else. Uh, and many of us are wondering why Warner Brothers doesn't circle back uh, to George Miller's choice, Army Hammer. So let's discuss the pros and cons of each of these uh, and be sure to share your own thoughts down below. Now to me, by far and away, the best choice is Oscar Isaac. He can brood like nobody's business. Look at these photos. He's already Batman. Uh, he's got a nice angular face for the cowl. That's important. Don't underestimate that. And he can also pull off Bruce Wayne. Isaac has an intensity uh, that has been wasted in Star Wars uh, that fits Batman's detective and obsessive qualities and would be an interesting contrast to Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman and hopefully Henry Cavill's Superman. Yes, this would be Ray spending the Dark Knight, but Ray spending can work, I feel, when you get the right actor, and Oscar Isaac is the right actor. Plus, it would invigorate audiences, uh, and especially the media. They'd go crazy over this, right? Uh, you know, social media would have a field day. Well, one half of it would, and I think the other half would be fine, because while this would seem fresh, Oscar Isaac is such a good fit with the character, I don't think it would ruffle the feathers of comic book purists. I mean, really, does anybody here have a problem with Oscar Isaac as Batman? I mean, look at the guy, he's Batman. All right, so uh, uh, I know that Oscar Isaac's box office numbers, by the way, are crap, but so are Christian Bale's, and that turned out just fine. Then runner-up, clearly in my opinion, is Army Hammer. George Miller made a good casting choice here. Uh, hair can be dyed black. Army Hammer is often a brunette anyway. And Hammer oozes not just intensity, but the self-entitlement that Batman is infamous for. He could not only be a troubled Batman, but a real jerk about it, right? As Batman tends to be. I mean, I love the guy. Uh, I think it's part of his charm, and I always understand where he's coming from. But often, audiences and other characters do not, and that's where the drama comes from. Uh, and like uh, Ben Affleck and Oscar Isaac, I think Army Hammer would nail the role of Bruce Wayne. Uh, don't, as we've discussed before, don't underestimate the importance of being a great Bruce Wayne. It makes 
a big difference. Uh, now, John Hamm would also make a great Bruce Wayne. Heck, Don Draper is practically 1960s Bruce Wayne. But Hamm is the same age as Ben Affleck, so having him take over the role, I don't think would really seem like much of a change at all. So why bother? It would, it would not seem fresh. So I'd say Ham is a no-go, and apparently Warner Brothers agrees with me because, again, nobody has reached out to him despite him not being at all shy about wanting the role. Then finally, Kit Harrington. No, no, no. Uh, look, I enjoy Jon Snow as much as the next person, which I wager is a moderate amount. Uh, but uh, Harrington, uh, while he claims to have never been contacted by Warner Brothers for the role, I believe that because the rumor stated that the studio asked for a mock-up to see what he'd look like in the cowl and Harrington don't have a face for the cowl. Uh, just think about how bad his doppelganger, Charlie Cox, looks in his Daredevil cowl. There's a reason he doesn't wear the Daredevil suit that often. He does not look good in it. Uh, plus, outside of Game of Thrones, Harrington has been in flop after flop. Even his BBC HBO gunpowder show came and went just recently with it, without anybody noticing. Like, did you know it aired? I didn't even know it aired until I looked it up for this. I was like, when's that come out again? And I was like, oh, it already aired. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I mean, he has one of the nicest wedding photos I've ever seen. I even tweeted about it. I think they look like such a wonderful, kind couple. But I'm not surprised at all that him playing Batman was nothing more than a brain fart by a well-intentioned but misguided Warner Brothers studio executive. So come on, Warner Brothers, Oscar Isaac and Army Hammer are not only perfect for the role, but they ain't that busy, right? I mean, he's, uh, Oscar Isaac's wrapping up episode nine, and I'm sure he'd love to get a ticket out of there. That's one of the, you know, usually we're like, no one's going to leave Disney for you, Warner Brothers. But I think this is a case where Oscar Isaac would be like, please save me. Uh, now, uh, also, to me, with Oscar Isaac, this DCEU trinity is very exciting. I would love it. Uh, well, I, I, as I said, I, I suspect we'll be getting an answer pretty darn soon. Uh, we'd better. Like, come on, Warner Brothers, give us some good news. As I said, locking down the DCEU trinity, as I said yesterday, should be a top priority. One part of it, I think two parts of it are really good. And I liked actually the third part, but it just hasn't worked out. So I think it's time to move on. Who would you like to move on with? Share your thoughts down below. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.